We're all packed up, ready for Toronto Tea Festival. A little bit tired. We're hitting the road. Woo! Oh, baby is so tired. <laughs> all right, we're getting out of here. Let's roll. We'll lock the door. We got a huge checklist. We're still going to go over it once more, but I think we got everything. Out we go, locking up. It's a little bit icy. Tasha is not photo with normal shoes. Oh, really? Am I, f I noticed right away I had boots this morning, and then when I came out of my sneakers, the cold went shooting through my foot. <laughs> All right, I'll pop you in the car. All right, we do our quick checklist. Oh, my phone has the checklist. You get the checklist. <laughs> I get the checklist. I get the checklist. All right, checklist complete. <laughs> <laughs> Her teeth are overexposed. She loves that. Checklist complete. We're out of here. We're going to turn this off, get the navigation on. Yes. Hit the road to Toronto Tea Festival. See you in Toronto. See you in Toronto. Woohoo! <laughs> so we're actually back. And uh, we forgot our car humidifier, which I'm going to show you in a second. There it is, the car humidifier. I don't know if you can see that humid air jetting out of it. It's just amazing. So um, I told them about it already, but I promised I'd show it to them. So that's what we travel with in the dry Canadian winter. We've arrived in Toronto, all right, finally. Actually, it was a really smooth drive. We had some delicious, right? Hi. Yes. We had some delicious foods. <laughs> we had food in Markham and yeah. we got some Chinese medicine at and the chestnuts. pharmacy. We got fresh roasted chestnuts yes, yes. and we dropped some lipstick on the ground and everything. So things are really heating up here. Do you notice we travel with a rice cooker? So there's our rice cooker and we got some food at the Whole Foods, which we put in the fridge. So a bunch of food from Whole Foods right across the street and we're like, what, eight minute walk from the, uh, from the tea festival. So yes. Now I'm gonna get my slides put together so I don't get the rest because I was really lazy. And now I'm gonna do my slides. All right, so I'm just doing a walkthrough at the 2020 Toronto Tea Festival. They've got the selfie wall here and the floor is over here. So let's have a quick, oh, sorry. Let's have a quick look around. You've got like Momo tea, all kinds of great tea vendors. Chaiwala is here. Sarah and Dave from Genuine Tea. It's an awesome tea festival, just all kinds of people. All kinds of tea. Tao, of course, is set up in the corner here with a big display. I'm still walking around at the Toronto Tea Festival. I'm with Nikki, one of the coordinators of this great event. Uh, lot, been, I've been chatting with lots of the vendors and they are loving this festival. I mean, the ones that have been coming back year after year, one of their favorites in all of North America. So thank you guys so much. Tell us a bit about this festival, how long it's been going and whatever you think is cool. Oh yeah, okay, awesome. So the Toronto Tea Festival, this is the eighth year. So 2020 is the eighth festival. And uh, so we started in 2013. We are the largest consumer tea festival in North America. Wow. So that includes the U.S. <laughs> that so is that's awesome. Fun. We have some visitors. We've heard from Vancouver. We've heard some coming from overseas to come see us. That's awesome. And we're really yeah. excited to have everybody here. Um, we have 51 vendors. 51 vendors, 51 yeah, from, vendors. from all over, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got some coming from um, overseas. We've California. Got, yeah, yep, everywhere. California. Africa, all, all over the place. So all kinds of vendors come everywhere. And um, so we've also got speakers on both days. And so we've got some big vendors, some small vendors, and there's tea for everyone. Yeah, it's, just, it's an awesome festival. Thank you guys for everything you do. And uh, I'm looking forward to coming back yeah. year after year. Can't so wait to see you. Everybody else, get out here, check this out. It's an amazing tea venue. I'm still walking around to see all the different vendors. And this is an old friend, Sue from mm -hmm. Sucha Tea. So tell us a little bit about Sucha Tea. Uh, Sucha Tea is a Toronto-based um, online tea store and uh, Korean tea has been very rare 
mm, in Canada. That's true. Yeah, but uh, we are so happy and proud to introduce Korean Tea at the Toronto Tea Festival this year and in Canada too. And this is your first year, right? Yes. <laughs> so, and you ship all over Canada? Yes. Awesome. How do people find you? Uh, online store and then they uh, also find us through Instagram and Facebook too. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. And it's suchatea.com? Yeah, suchatea.ca. .ca. Okay, yeah, but, same as us. We're genti.ca. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Awesome. Okay, so and how, what do you think? This is your first festival, right? It's so amazing because people are so interested in Korean tea and then they're so excited awesome. to taste Korean teas. Yeah. yeah, and then we are so happy to speak about Korean tea too today. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Have a great rest of the show, all right? Thank you. Nice setup there. A lot of um, no name like shops without big signs. David's has got a big setup here. We're here at the Toronto Tea Festival. I'm with the David's Tea Crew. Uh, can you guys introduce yourself to everybody? Yes. Hi, I'm Nadia de la Vega. I'm the tea content manager at David's Tea, and I'm here with... I'm Celia. Uh, I'm the tea research and development specialist at David's Tea. And what do you guys think of this tea festival? Is this your first Toronto Tea Festival? The yes, first one at Toronto, is... yes. We awesome. did the Montreal one uh, last year and it was phenomenal, but this one we love because um, people seem to be a little bit more educated about tea. Um, they really know what they're talking about, they know what we're talking about, so we don't have to do as much background explanation. It's awesome. Also, the, the people that don't know a lot about tea are really keen to learn, so it's yeah. really fun. It's been two days, it's a lot of intense work, but we're. Uh, Everyone's really excited and they really want to like buy as many teas as they can. Yes. So that is fun. awesome. Can I be honest with you guys? Yes. yes. Sometimes I get asked, what do you think of David's tea? And people say it like this, what do you think of David's tea? <laughs> and I say, I think they're awesome. David's tea is totally the gateway drug. People, <laughs> yeah. people open up the lid on tea and they realize there's a whole world out there. So thank you guys for doing that. We well, love thank it. You. I, thank you so much. Really kind to say. I think awesome. that at David's Tea, we're trying to have fun and we're trying to get uh, people to like this tea, and that's mm. what we're all trying to do, right? You to bet. get exactly. to tea, drink more tea. Drink more tea, 100%. <laughs> more tea. Enjoy yeah. the rest of the show. Thank, Thank you, you too. too. There's our friend David from Tillerman Tea, all the way from California. All right, uh, I'm at the Toronto Tea Festival. I'm just wandering around to some different vendors, and this is a, an old friend of mine, David Campbell from Tillerman Teas. So uh, tell, tell folks about Tillerman Teas. Well, we're a, a small company. We work online, and uh, although we're based out of California, we cover the whole North America world market, actually. Yeah, ship North America we ship, and world, same as yeah, awesome. Yeah, awesome free America. shipping. Um, and we... Uh, uh, it's a small company. We specialize in oolong teas from Taiwan. Right, Taiwan oolong. Delicious and, Taiwanese oolong. Yes, and, yes. and these are t uh, teas that I get from people who are friends of mine. I've been working with them for right. you know 20 years now. Right. And uh, so, the yes. Cup kind of story. That's awesome. Yeah. And what do you think of the Toronto Tea Festival? I think it's fantastic. This awesome. is, I do a number of tea festivals throughout North America, and this is certainly right at the very top of the heap. Awesome. Thanks a lot, David. Okay, Have sure a enough. Great show today. Thanks. Bye bye. Millennia Tea. They're doing a freeze dry process to uh, process the tea. So, something very different. I'm looking forward to trying that. Sonia's Asantik Masala. Hello. Chayo is here again, as always. Hello. Turmeric tea, Ucha tea, there's Linda. And of course, Cam Sen, there is uh, Delphine Jindra. All right, so I'm at the Camellia Sinensis booth. Lots of you guys will probably know them with Delphine. And uh, how's your festival going so far? Oh, it's so nice. Uh, it's fun to meet uh, people from uh, Toronto. Uh, it's my first time here, but uh, of course, uh, people know us uh, from. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I, th I think Camelia has been here for a few years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we've but been you're, here it's your first a few show years. But in Toronto, for me, it's so. the first time. So. And what do you think of the vibe? A uh, very good vibe. I love tea festivals pe because people are so patient. They really right. want to listen and taste. And, and learn, uh, right? yeah, yeah, nobody's awesome. in a rush. Awesome. So it's uh, really the best. Vibe. All right, and how do people find Camellia Sinensis? You've got a few stores. 
Uh, yeah, we're in Montreal and in Quebec City, so uh, yeah. come visit. And of uh, course online. Of course, we're online too. Awesome, thanks. You have a great show today. You do. All right. Thank you. All right, still at the Toronto Tea Festival. I'm with the uh, Cam Send Royalty, Kevin <laughs> Kevin Gascoigne and Francois. Hey, nice. You yes. guys enjoying the show? Oh, great time. Yeah. Really, really good time. You've been to Toronto plenty of times. Is this your first Toronto Tea it's Festival? It's my second time. Second I came time. like four or five years ago. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah. What a yeah. vibe, right? Yeah, so much fun. Really Tell good us time. a bit about Camellia. Well, we are uh, 20 years old. We've been uh, doing all sorts of stuff, mainly sourcing it. We travel to source, buy the teas over there. Right, whole team of guys, right? You each go yeah. to each yeah. of the regions. Four, 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 four tasters. specialized tasters. Nice. Nice. We have a catalog, a central catalog in the middle of the company of 250 teas that changes continually, dynamic selection. Nice. Around that, we've got... Uh, Publications, education, uh, wholesale catalog, uh, rebrand, all sorts of stuff. And we yeah. also uh, have a tea factory in the south of India. That's right. A tea and studio. Got, these yeah. guys are awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Drink more tea, everybody. Drink Thanks. More tea. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So I'm with my friends from Tea Horse Teas. Where I gotta, add, I'm gonna ask people. I know where they're from, but I'm gonna make it dramatic. Where have you guys come in from? From Thunder, Thunder Bay, Bay, Ontario. Ontario. Thunder Bay, folks, that is yeah. dedication. Actually, just our history, we, we came to the uh, Tea Festival three years ago yeah. just as people curious about tea. Last year, we came as uh, tea shop owners. What we've done is we've created uh, uh, some teas using wild rice, roasted wild rice. Roasted so we come Canadian wild, wild rice, rice from Northern Ontario. From Northern Ontario. Oh, so so totally a farmed cup situation yeah. and home, home wild, blended, right? Yeah, yeah. wild to a oh, wild to come. Yeah, yeah it's wild. not farm to come. Yeah. It's uh, from yes, it's from so the lakes of northern Ontario. Wow, northwestern Ontario, actually around Dryden, Ontario. And yeah. people are loving that. People oh, are loving it. Yeah, awesome. Well. So it's very reminiscent of a Japanese genmai cha, so a perfect, rice tea. Perfect. So we've created two blends: one uh, dark roast using a uh, hoji cha, roasted green tea, awesome. and one with uh, bancha, a, 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 a green tea from Japan, and then just a straight uh, roasted uh, wild rice. Right. Kind so of it's more like a like a barley like tea, a, barley. a roasted right. roasted green. How tea. do folks get that? Where do they find it? Can they uh, get it online? We yes. can get it online at Tea Horse. Tea Horse Teas dot dot. Teahorse.ca. Teahorse.ca, folks, if you want to try those yeah, delicious yeah. blends. All right, thanks a lot, guys. You have a great show today. All right, Thank thanks. You. Misty Mountain, as usual. Joel and Cheryl from Capital T. We've got Sri Lanka in the house. We've got our friends from Artisan, from Perth. All right, so I'm still going around to all the different booths at Toronto Tea Festival, awesome festival. I'm with Sebastian of Artisan Kombucha to see if I can get the camera to look up a bit. Perfect. Tell us a bit about Artisan Kombucha. So Artisan Kombucha is a local craft kombucha out of Perth and uh, we make our kombucha with love, with spring water, organic loose leaf teas, organic sugar and lots of fun flavors. Yeah, you bet. I've had it and it is really delicious and I'm picky. So <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, yes. How do people find you? It's uh, just at artisankombucha.ca nice, nice, nice. and then we have a store in Perth which you come visit. We share with a pie shop which is really fun. So what about the Toronto Feet Festival? I think this is your second one. It's our second year and we love it. And it's uh, it's refreshing for people because everybody's drinking nice warm teas and then they come to us and it's a refreshing change yeah, to the palate. Yeah, and it's a light fizzy too, right? It's exactly. a really lovely flavor. All right, thanks Sebastian. Thank Have you. an awesome show today. All right, you too. Take care. All right, guys, that wraps up our quick recap of the Toronto Tea Festival, my favorite festival in the whole wide world. Um, I hope you found this video really useful. If you're too far to get there or if you were thinking about going, I hope this convinces you to come next year. Uh, I put lots of links down below to all the various vendors and all kinds of other information about the festival. So be sure to check those out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when our next video comes out. And until next time, keep steeping.